Welcome back to Let's Play The Writer, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. AGAIN! I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in a replica of Stucky's gas station, which pretty much looks exactly the same as I remember it. You want to see something weird, though? There's no objective right now. Thought it was weird that there was no uh, icon there. Hey! Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him, his own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. Man, I'm an asshole. I think rather than reloading, I'll just keep that with me and take the rifle. You know, because there's more ammo right there. I actually felt bad that uh, I didn't get to use the uh, the thing at all in uh, the signal. Even though I summoned it myself with the word hunt. Thought this was the... that previous video was the last one of the session. Imagine my surprise when I found out it was not. Ah, well. Wait. Oh, it is just a coffee machine. My mistake. Wisconsin, two dollars. You know what? I'm just gonna say this. Uh, if it had been me, I would have adjusted this texture so that there was an island in the middle of uh, Cauldron Lake. Just for the DLC. Those look way nicer than the actual cabins we saw where Barry was uh, staying. Oh. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. Oh shit! No! Oh my god! I was not expecting to have five guys behind me when I turned around. Okay, fuck that. That was no that was bad news. That was bad news. Oh I'll do that so I can walk through there at least. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him, his own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. Go, loaded for bear. I don't remember that door sticking. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. No! Dumbass! No, I'm just gonna keep standing here while uh, this thing burns behind me. Okay, fuck this. We're gonna run. Oh my god, I didn't know those guys could chase me that fast. Well, fuck you guys then. Ah, oh, fuck. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him, his own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to.
This isn't even me pushing the button every time for, out of stubbornness. This is just nope. It's gonna go At up least there. The lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. As you do. Right, I didn't think that went through. The uh, player forced the, uh, the Taken to back off. That guy just dodged an explosion, which is weird. God, I'm surrounded by explosives. Just everywhere. Alrighty, just checking. The float has two heads. It's the 8668th uh, annual Deer Fest. Fine, buddy. No. Oh, fuck. Right, yeah, the world isn't even pretending it makes sense anymore. I only heard that about 90 times. Alright, fuck you guys. Oh shit, I was right! Nope, fuck you. Oh, I can't run! Down to you and me, big guy! Right, I don't know why I thought that was a good thing. Move! Oh. I thought that thing was gonna go boom in a big, big way. Fuck, this air is thick now. It's a swimming with evil. What the hell? Oh, I do remember. I found a building with a few dead carcasses in it, didn't I? Man, alive. That one didn't make an engine noise. Wire! The hell does that sound? Keep on climbing that tree. I'm probably gonna take damage from stepping off here. I might even die. My book is flashing down there. <gasps> Fuck! That's not a copy of his book. I don't think I can get back over there. Great. Oh! Wait, where's the- there it is. Gnarly.
Well, first I gotta do the thing. I was thinking this might push one of these things up and do a thing. Oh! You know, I was thinking that, uh... As I was running around amongst all those booms, that it's a very good thing the lighthouse is pointing out and not down. There was no power to the log lift. Yeah, that makes sense. I gotta go, uh... Connect those wires to something. I've really enjoyed going through this game again, I gotta say. Bridge! something. I'm gonna hit this one first. Ah! The missing piece. A Jenny! Actually, if I, uh do that, it might turn off by itself. No, no, come to think of it, that doesn't really happen. It's the, um, the what do you call it? The, uh, the light bulbs that break when that happens, not the generators themselves. Eh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Taken on the way back. Mm -hmm. All right, down isn't the answer. up and to the right. It's making it do this. It's the only direction it seems to do anything. I guess down and to the left also works, but... Not the angle I would have uh, gone with for labeling that direction, but sure. I feel like they, they made all of the characters feel extraordinary believ extraordinarily believable by video game standards. Uh, like, I really like the, the way you have to piece the plot together, but they do give you all the clues in case you're, you know, dumb. <laughs> you know, just finding pages and getting, like, optional extra bits of, you know, forthcoming lore. I just really like this game's vibe, you know? Even if I, uh, you know, didn't find the tension as scary as I once did, uh, I still got got by a lot more jump scares than I was expecting. The 
part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. I stand so there are corrected. two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I, I am not. What? I don't understand. Alan, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well, I cleared things up. How can there be a page up there? I can't, I'm not... Oh, I guess we're going around, huh? I was going to say... Not a page, a, a game. I was going to say... I don't think they get much more into it than that in this game. Mr. Scratch. And incidentally, I think that right there might have been the only time anyone ever refers to him and actually says the word scratch rather than a uh, sound effect. He's... He's not, you know, a, a taken version of Alan Wake. He's something new. The two most... Ta he's basically... Alan Wake, if he was as full of darkness as this Alan is as full of light. They have proper titles, you know. Alan Wake is the champion of light. Mr. Scratch is the herald of darkness. He's like a replacement for Barbara Jagger, but more. Because Mr. Scratch isn't just a puppet for the dark presence, he's an entity. And he has the power to write. He has imagination. The reason the, the Taken are more varied and twisted in uh, Alan Wake's American Nightmare is because the darkness isn't writing it. Mr. Scratch is. The other thing you should know about Mr. Scratch that makes him absolutely terrifying to me is that even though he is a pure construct of the dark, like Barbara Jagger's body, uh... Well, when Barbara killed people, it was because it was useful to her. She killed people to make the Taken. She killed people because they were standing in her way. She killed people to make it harder for Alan to accomplish his goal. She killed people because it would get her closer to being freed from Cauldron Lake. Mr. Scratch... Well... As much as you've got to abandon, uh, you know, human ethics and uh, mentality when you're trying to put yourself in the shoes of the Dark Presence, you don't have to do that for Mr. Scratch. Mr. Scratch kills people because it's fun. And by the way, the teaser trailer for, uh... Alan Wake 2 uh, is very vague and incoherent, as you would expect. But there are two things I note. Alan says the words, you know, This is not the story you were hoping for. This story is a monster. And there's also a split-second flash of Alan with this insane grin on his face and blood splattered all over him. So I think that's Mr. Scratch, not Alan. And I think he's writing the manuscript next time around. Oh, I thought this was a checkpoint. Fuck. Huh. 
There goes the timer right there. Oh, that's where that got to. Man alive. I absolutely would not have recognized what that thing was the very first time I saw it, but this, this time I was doing the playthrough, I saw that and just silently went, Oh, fuck. It's a diving helmet. It's a very odd shape of carpet, but whatever. That's five. Got at least half of them, and I'm proud of that. I gotta keep going till I either die or find a checkpoint. It, oh. Rest in peace. Oh! Stupid momentum. like inertia as a property of matter. Checkpoint! Awesome. So just stand right here on this target. There. Well. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Writer, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! As we, uh, start climbing this structure. Make our way towards the lighthouse in the sky. Very ominous indeed. Stay in the light.